So what if I told you there's a new flashlight that can read your mind? Well, first I'd be lying because currently only the government can do that. Okay, but what if I told you something true and say, there's a company with a new flashlight that gets turned on when you give it a soft touch? Yeah, you heard me. Immolent has introduced a new EDC light for universal soldiers and humans called the DM-21. I feel like I made that joke before. Anyway, the DM-21 version I'm reviewing here is the DM Series Luxurious Kit, which may have been named after consulting oligarchs about flashlight packages. In this kit, the flashlight remains the same as a regular DM-21, you know, flashlight, but comes packaged with a few cool extras for people who like batteries and large sci-fi movie-inspired flashlight holsters. In the Luxurious package, you get a flashlight, some spare L-rings, a micro USB cable, a 2600 milliamp hour battery, the full size holster, and a smaller nylon holster. Immolent says a nylon holster will be added to retail packages, although it's not available for review here. So first, let's just talk about the DM21, or you know, the flashlight, if you get confused by model numbers. It's got the Type 3 anodizing, which is that black coating on the flashlight I mentioned in nearly every review I do which should probably be a drinking game by now. Then there's the ultra clear tempered glass lens, which has a coating and resists scratches. And behind that, there's an XML2 U4 LED, which isn't necessarily warm or neutral, but a little closer to cool. Here's a tin comparison with a few warm XML2 lights, a Nichia 219B, and a cool white XML2 U2, just to see where the light falls in the spectrum. And here's its weight with and without a battery. It's 138 millimeters long, or 5.45 inches, 27 millimeters as its widest diameter. So it's a bit long for pocket carry and doesn't include a clip either. But it's waterproof to IPX8 standards so it survives the rain, shallow water, and your tears unscathed. It takes a protected or unprotected 18650 cell or two CR123A batteries if you live in an area where they grow on trees. And the cool thing about the light by itself is that you can charge it just like your cell phone with the included micro USB cord, although you need to supply the wall adapter because that's the kind of world we live in. Okay, so this light has a simple operation. Put the battery in, wait for it to initialize for a few seconds, and then tap that. A light tap on and a light tap off. To control the brightness, just turn the knob press it again to turn it off. You can access the single strobe mode by either pressing and holding from off or pressing and holding while on. Releasing it cancels the strobe function. If you release it and the light was off during activation, it turns back off. If it was on, then it remains on after you let go of it. That's it, no long demonstration, because that's reserved for the holster. Okay, so how bright is this light? Immolent says it goes from 30 lumens all the way up to 930. I found my sample went from 82 to 854 lumens, with a lot of adjustment in between. Here are Immolent's figures alongside my estimated numbers. I found there's a hard bump in light about twice near the low end of the dial. I love the user interface, however I wish it was at a much lower low. 80 lumens is like a really bright keychain light. So here are a few EDC size lights so you can compare some outdoor beam shots of the light. None are real long range lights, but I'll throw in one just for comparison. In the frame you'll see my estimated output numbers using the FL1 method of flashlight science measuring. Immolent states I received a pre-production model and the production model will actually go down to 20 lumens. So you got that to look forward to. So the touch interface works well. It can go through a single layer of clothing or just use your face or appendage of choice. Here, let me demonstrate. To check the level of the battery, just double click the touch sensor while off. Green means it's good. Red means it needs to charge. Okay, so let's see how the light behaves on high and see how long it runs for. Or a runtime test. I use the included Immolent 2600 milliamp hour battery for this. So it runs for about one hour and 36 minutes before shutting off. 
So after I finished the runtime test, I charged the light with a USB cable and found it took about three hours and 45 minutes with a starting voltage of 2.61 volts and ending at 4.18 volts. It blinks red while it's charging and it's low and as it gets closer to being fully charged, it starts blinking green. Cool, now the holster. Normally this is a quick segment, but why don't you sit down and listen to me talk about the holster for an hour like you've got nothing better to do. The holster provides several functions, but one of them isn't getting your time back from watching this video. Okay, first it's a holster that weighs 235 grams or 8.3 ounces without a battery, or the total with a flashlight and single battery, which is 13 ounces or 373 grams. Who knew a flashlight video could recreate the experience of weighing stuff at a meat counter? So it's not just a holster, but also a power bank, battery charger, spare battery, and flashlight holder, and a conversation piece for nerds. And you're like, well, bro, I'm not the one making YouTube flashlight videos. Okay, you're right. So let me break it down for you. The holster includes a built-in charger that charges a 18650 battery, because why carry around a spare battery fully charged when you can carry a drain battery and charge it on your person. But before you charge the battery with the holster, you have to charge the holster's 5,000 milliamp hour built-in battery. Get it? That's how power banks work. I found out through testing, my holster would only charge 4.14 or 4.15 volts when it charged the battery, which depending on how you look at it is either a very safe voltage or not a fully charged 4.2 volts. You notice I said power bank, right? Yeah, it'll also charge your cell phone, but I found it wouldn't charge my cell phone with some aftermarket iPhone lightning cables that work fine with my Mac. I found it took about 1 hour and 55 minutes to charge my iPhone 5S from 6% to 86% before I had to leave and do other things. So, what if you deplete the internal battery in the holster and you need to charge your phone? Well, you can pop in a spare 18650 battery that's charged and it will charge your phone off that battery even when the power bank battery is dead. Get it? The holster has a hinged belt clip that you use on your belt, you know, if you wanted to. Cool. Sorry ladies, I'm already taken. I also found the light a bit wobbly inside the holster. It will never fall out, but it rattled around a lot, which is cool because you don't scare anyone by accidentally creeping up on them. Emily says they're working on making the holster hold the light tighter for the final production version. Let me reiterate, well actually I haven't iterated it to begin with, but this is a pre-production version. Anyway, you can check the charge level by tapping the mode button or anywhere near the mode button because of the touch technology. Three bars means you have a well-charged battery and green means the power bank has a fullish charge. All right, let's see, uh, what else? Um, I guess how about further opinions? I like the control ring interface because those are awesome, but I found I could accidentally turn it on and off if my hand brushed it accidentally. Talking with Emilent, it seems they're going to make it just a bit harder to accidentally activate in the final production model. So be careful about carrying it in your pocket if you don't want it to turn on accidentally. Also, I often use very low modes, like less than 10 lumens, sometimes less than one lumen because that's the kind of person I am. So it doesn't hurt my eyes when they're adjusted to the dark. So the 82 lumens on my pre-production model is way too high and it's my opinion that the 20 lumens on the final version is still a bit too high for my taste, but Emelin says that's as low as they can go. Anyway, so what's good about the light? It's made of high quality components like the aluminum of the flashlight. The control ring is easy to turn and very, very smooth, like Schlitz. Also, you can buy an optional clip, but Emelin says it's not included with the light, so you gotta buy it separately. Then I found after about a week and a half of sporadic use, the rubber finish around the holster hinge and also the area where the light rubs inside the holster has began to wear. Look, see? And just today the rubber cover broke off from the USB port where you charge it on the flashlight itself. Anyway, that's about it. Also, ooh, my flashlight output numbers are taken from my DIY lumen measuring device and should be used as a relative guide only. They were calibrated using a Phoenix light. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like reviews of EDC stuff like knives, flashlights, headlamps, tools, and camping gear, subscribe to my channel. All real world tested and no tabletops. That is, of course, unless I start reviewing tables.